Welcome back to Pabli and in this video I am going to show how you can send images on WhatsApp automatically on receiving a form submission. So we are going to send these images on WhatsApp to the submitter of the form automatically. So you can use this automation for various purposes. For example, you can send your business brochures as an image. You can send posters and any other kind of uh, image on WhatsApp automatically on receiving a form submission. So here, let me show you that example we have taken here is this. So guys, here we have created a lead form with the help of jot form application in place of jot form you can use any other form building application as well like type form or google forms and here as and when is going any person is going to fill this form and submit this form a whatsapp message along with an image is going to be delivered to the form submitter automatically and this is going to save your time and energy and and to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is any person can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So guys, let's set up this automation together. So to start with this automation, you have to reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect application first, guys. And to reach here, you have to sign up in Pavli Connect first from this link, pavli.com slash connect. So we have pasted this link in this uh, in the description as well. So from here you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes by clicking on the sign up free button and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys here you can create this automation by clicking on this create workflow button and here you can give a relevant or suitable name to this workflow. So here I'm giving the name here as a send images on WhatsApp automatically. Okay. So after giving the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will see the trigger and the action. So guys, automations work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger this workflow or make this workflow know that it is time to run. And the response towards that trigger would be this action. So action will make perform, uh, will make public and perform any action. Okay. So here in this use case, the trigger would be a form submission and the action would be to send a message with an image on WhatsApp. So first of all, you need to set up this trigger. So from this choose app field, choose the trigger application, which is jot form in our case. Okay. So select the trigger. So after selecting jot form, you have to select the trigger event, which is new response. Okay. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And with the help of this, we are going to connect our form here with this workflow. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that connection. Okay. So let me show you my form. This is the form I have created named as hair transplant clinic form. So this is a example we have taken for a hair transplant clinic. So this is kind of a lead generation form for this clinic. So as and when any person, any interested customer is going to fill the form, we want to send the customer a brochure of our business on WhatsApp. Okay. In the image format, right? So here is my form and here you have to click on this more option and from here you will find this settings option click on settings and uh, from this page you will find this integrations option in the left hand side panel click on integrations and here you will find this webhooks option search for webhooks and you will find it select it. Okay, you can see already uh, integration is up and running. So let me remove this previous integration. All right, now click on webhooks again. And here you will find this add webhook field here. Okay, so you have to copy uh, the webhook URL that you got here in your workflow. Just click on copy. Then come back to the, your jot form application and paste the webhook URL here in this add webhook field like this. Okay then click on complete integration and you can see our integration is ready now. So just click on finish and we are done. And here you can see as I have copied this webhook URL, it started showing here waiting for the webhooks response. 
so as this means uh, we have to perform a test submission now so the test submission would be we are going to fill this form this form on the behalf of any demo customer and the data of this form submission is going to be captured here in this workflow and that will act as a test data for us to set up this automation further okay so let me fill in the details of any demo customer here let's say the name of my customer is or lead is chris harris okay this is the email address of this person and here you have to enter a whatsapp number like this okay then click on submit here and you can see the form is submitted now let's check in our workflow if we got the data of this form submission and you can see the data is captured here like this it is showing you the forms title the name of the customer is here okay the email is here the whatsapp number is also here now guys what i want we want to send a message with an image to this whatsapp number for that to happen just click here on the section step and from here search for whatsapp's cloud api okay so with the help of cloud api we are going to send this message so select the action event as send template message then click on connect and from this window select add new connection if you're making the connection with whatsapp's cloud api for the very first time and it will show you this permanent access token field here the phone number id and the business account id all right so if you want to know more about the cloud api thing and how to make the connections inside pavli connect in the action or in the trigger you can just click here on this here word written in blue or you can check the videos in the descriptions as well okay and in those videos you will learn how to set up your cloud api inside the meta uh, developers for meta section okay so in this forum page also you will learn about the cloud api setup inside pavli connect and how to generate the permanent access token for your api setup and then you will find the steps written here along with the screenshots on how to make the connections and how to use cloud api right so you can follow these instructions and these videos and you'll know everything for these things i can show you my cloud api setup so guys this is the meta for developers page and here i have created the uh, my uh, cloud api setup under this application okay and here you can see i am under whatsapp's getting started page and on the getting started page you will get the temporary access token first but temporary tokens expires in 24 hours so you'll generate you have to generate a permanent one okay so after getting your permanent token generated you have to keep it safe because we are going to use the same token only to make the connections afterwards also and you can see in this send and receive messages section we have this phone number id here just copy it you can just copy it and paste it here similarly you can copy this business account id and paste it here okay and if you got the permanent token generated you can paste the token here and after that you have to click on save and you will be connected with your cloud api setup for whatsapp right so guys like generating the permanent access token making the connection by this process by selecting add new connection and filling these things is also a one-time process because in pavli connect the connections got saved here you can see here your connections name is written here whatsapp cloud api hashtag 15 is our connections name so this connection is going to be auto saved here and after that if you want to make the connection again in a different workflow you can use the existing connections okay that you have already connected so i have already connected with cloud api in a different workflow previously so now i can choose any of my existing connection let me show you how just click here on this existing connection option and it will show you the connections list here in this field like this from here i can choose any of these connections let me select this one whatsapp cloud api final connection okay now i just have to click on save and i'll be connected again with the cloud api you can see like this okay we are connected and here it is asking for the message templates name so let me show you this is my cloud api setup and here you can see it is written to create your own message template just click here so when you click on this here word you will reach this page and these are the templates i have created uh, to send messages on whatsapp let me show you the one we are using here in this workflow 
so th this is the template i am using send brochure image okay img so this is the template i am using for this purpose let me show you so guys message templates are nothing but the predefined message structures that you can use to send messages to multi people multiple people at once on whatsapp okay so uh, this is a message template i am using and you can see its preview here this is how the message is going to look like on whatsapp guys okay hello roger binney thank you for showing your interest our team members will contact you shortly this is a kind of message i have framed and in this ma message you can see here uh, I have added some variable tags or the body fields also like this one in double curly braces two and three so guys you have to place these variable tags or body fields inside your message template so that you can change a few things uh, with every new message okay so you can see after hello we want the name of my customer so that is going to change with every new message similarly uh, you can change your website's address okay we, uh, we are creating these templates for various purposes okay so these are standard templates guys so we can change the website address if we have many websites or if you're using uh, using this template for different reasons you can change the name of your company or your firm also from here okay and to create such a template let me show you you just have to click here on this create message template button and here it will show you these three categories in which you can create templates the transactional one the marketing category and the one-time passwords so from here you can select the category and then you can give a suitable name to this template like this and then you can give and uh, you can select the language in which you want to send the message all right then click on continue from here and here in this page you can see we got this header section in this header you can send a text or you can send an image or sorry media and in this media section you can send an image a video or a document right right now we are sending an image so you can select the image option and you can put the images url here okay and in the body box guys you have to type the main body of your message right and in the main body you just have to type it like this and if you want to add variable tags or body fields just click here on this add variable button and the tags will be added here like this so after completing your whole template you just have to click on submit here and submit your template and uh, after getting the template submitted the facebook is going to review that template and approve it like these i have approved okay so it will just take a few minutes and after getting the approval you can uh, use the message templates for sending messages on whatsapp so guys uh, here you have to select the template in your workflow to send the messages so let it will show you the list of all the templates that you have from here only i am selecting this one send underscore brochure underscore img and you can see the language code and the template id is filled up automatically here it is asking for the recipient's mobile number so here you have to uh, put the whatsapp number of the customer who have filled this form or the lead okay and in this response test data you can see we have received this mobile number label here so i'm just going to map this label here in this field so just click here and it will show you this jot forms option in the drop down and from here only map this phone number label so guys when you map the uh, label here like this what will happen after setting up this automation in real time whenever any real lead is going to fill your form and submit these labels are going to change and a new message will be delivered to the new whatsapp number okay and you have to uh, put the uh, numbers here in this format with a country code and without any plus sign okay so uh, in i am working in india so my code is 91 you will get your code when you are when you receive the form submissions okay so here it is asking for the header image url and the three body fields so i have shown you that in my message template which is here we are sending an image like this you can see in the preview so to get this image attached inside a message automatically you have to paste the link of that url here and the link should be in png or jpg format okay and we have three variables also in the message 
So to get these variables or the body fields change with every new message, you have to map the values of these variables or body fields here inside your workflow. So let me first show you the about the variables. Here we can see after hello, I want to put the name of the customer or lead here in the second uh, uh, variable or the body field. We want the website address and the third body field. We want the forms name. Okay. So let me show you for the name. Just click here and from the jot form step map the name label here like this. Let me map the full name. Okay. Here in the second body field, uh, you can enter your website address. For now, I am just showing you the demo. So I am putting here www.pabli.com. And here I am just putting hair clinic. Okay, because we are creating this automation for hair clinic. And now let me put, uh, enter this uh, header image URL as well. So guys, I have pasted my header image URL here like this. You can see, and I, I got this link guys from my WordPress website where I have uploaded this image. So you can take the link from anywhere else also. Okay. Now guys, you can check your connection with WhatsApp by clicking on save and send test request and a test message will be sent to this WhatsApp number. And actually I have the access of this WhatsApp number so I can show you how the message is going to look like. I'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens. So guys, this is the response we have received. Let me show you the WhatsApp message now. And guys, you can see we have received this message. You can open it and here you can see this is the message. Hello, Chris Harris. Thank you for showing your interest. One of our team members will contact you shortly. And in place of the body fields, you can see we have the name placed of our lead. The website address is here and here you can see hair clinic is placed in the place of this third body field you can see here okay and these are the th same things that we have mapped here okay hair clinic and this is the things and you can see this is the same image also let me open it from here this was the image that i have attached and the same image we got here in the message also okay this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation now as and when you are going to receive any form submission via jot form the messages along with the images will be delivered automatically to the leads. You don't have to do anything manually. So guys, you have to set up this automation only once and you can use the same workflow that I've created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel